Nemo head coach Tom Matukowicz, the team 38-27 victors at Eastern Illinois, moved up to number nine in the coaches poll this morning, undefeated against FCS competition this season. They're at home this week. They're going to host Tennessee Tech, who is 2-0 uh, as well in Big South OVC play. So, Coach, just some thoughts on your team. It's win, and then we'll go to some questions. Yeah, I loved how we started the game. You know, um, the, the best part is we were really excited to play that game. When you look back uh, – I think five of the top 11 football teams lost on the road to unranked opponents. You know, those are good indicators of just how hard it is to keep it and sustain the energy it, it takes to play well week in and week out. Uh, so love that. Really disappointed how we finished. You know, we lost the fourth quarter. Um, great teams don't lose fourth quarters uh, point totals. And so we got to get that corrected. Uh, certainly, um, you know, EIU uh, hats off to those guys and, and the fight that they have. And they're obviously well coached and got some good players there. So I'm sure they will uh, bounce back. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, coach. Uh, we'll go to, we got some questions. We'll go to Jake first. I know he's with us in his car there. Go ahead, Jake. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Awesome. So I was going to ask, you're on this four-game winning streak now. The last time you guys have done this, I think, was late 22. Uh, what's been the mood and the vibe inside that building over the last month? Uh, just a pretty consistent uh, mentality about just the uh, trying to meet the standards of preparation week in and week out. This has been a pretty consistent, consistent bunch. They've, um, you know been coachable all those type of things so really enjoyed it there has been kind of some i don't know uh how to call it just kind of a cloud uh we've had some season ending injuries um and those are those are just tough um you know just a, this game will humble you in a hurry and life's not fair and good thing that uh, we have some really tough minded players that are going through some things I know it's far from over at this point, but are you happy with where you are at this point with those injuries, winning games consecutively? Yeah, you're just trying to go one and oh, you know, uh, you're trying to play as well as you can. We try not to just focus on the result. We try to focus on, you know, what creates the results we're all looking for. And just so, uh, you know, the standards and, and how we approach things are, are really what I, you know, that's my job. And now this week you get to come back home again. Obviously, we know you guys have seemed to play a little bit better at home, at least this year, than on the road. But um, what's that like after going back on the road and, and having the you know the the constant uh, home and away situation every week? Yeah, it's great to be at home. We have great fan base. Uh, the students are out. Um, you know, we are a bunch that uh, you know love action. You know, and so when there's that kind of that environment seems to bring out the best in us. And against against your opponent this Saturday, you guys have had more success against them while playing at home. Is there something behind that at all, or is it just that's just where the game took place? Yeah, I think, you know, had nothing to do with it. And when you look at your opponent this week, um, what are some things you noticed that they have done in the past well and so far that they're doing well so far this year? Yeah, I really look forward to this game. Um, you know, they're number one team in the uh, conference and running the ball and stopping the run. That's probably why they're two and zero in the conference. The, those are hard things to do. We don't. We're not even. We can't even see the top from where we're at. Um, and so we got a, a, you know, a fun game, man. Uh, um, never played against coach, uh, but uh, loved how his teams play right now. And so I'm looking forward to the opportunity. And finally, for me, I, I know you may not read much into it, but do your players read into the fact that you guys are now number nine in one poll, number 11 in another? I mean, you are in the top upper echelon of teams right now playing college football at this point. You know, I, I bet you uh, Coach over at Tennessee Tech will talk a lot more about our rankings than I do. You know, I think hopefully our players understand um, that all that stuff are distractions, and there will be a time to go back and appreciate all the things that has happened, but now's not the time, you know, now we are deployed, we are on mission and we can celebrate, you know, at the end right now, it's just about how we get better um, and how we, 
you know, prepare our players for this tough opponent. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you, Jake. Uh, no, I don't, not any specifics, but how do you handle that when you have an injury, as you were saying, like the next man up mentality? And, you know, when you mentioned some season injury, but if you have somebody who's just banged up and going to miss a game or two, what's just the mindset with everybody, how, how to get through that? Well, you just got to focus on the things you could control. And um, really any problem in life is really an opportunity. Right. And so we had a nickel that's a walk on player. Um, oh, and, uh, you know, probably wasn't going to have a, a defensive role. Now he's a starting role and played outstanding against EIU. So those are the things that it creates is ultimately you could create a lot of depth. You can, um, you know, get young players better quicker because really you get better by playing. So it kind of forces their development. And so, you know, once you get over your feelings, it is a great opportunity if, you know, you recruited well, those players have the makeup to, uh, you know, get better. Um, you know, it could create a lot of depth down, uh, you know, towards the end of this uh, conference championship run we're on. Well, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. As always, best of luck this weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Sounds great, Kyle.